But we don't got a little bit of time left, and I want to talk about something funny. We last week we did funny news, like the funny things that I seen on the news. So I was gonna do that today again, but then I said no. I've been noticing what I call retarded or dumb headlines that don't make no sense. But these are funny headlines that don't make no sense. I'm going to give you 10 of the ones that I found. I found so many of them, but the 10 funny ones that I, when I looked at it, I laughed. So these are the funniest headlines that I seen. Here goes the first one. A safety meeting ends in an accident. <laughs> Just that, that one is bizarre. How you have a safety meeting and ha ends in an accident? I guess it's not a safety meeting, right? There was one of those things that they left out in the sa in the safety class. <laughs> See, if you were here Monday, you would have learned about that safety tip, but you lost it, so now you had the accident. <laughs> Again, these are funny headlines I seen online. The second one, Utah Poison Control Center reminds everybody not to take poison. Really? I need you to tell me not to take poison. What am I, a Trump follower? Oh, da dum dum. I'm just saying. Ain't that what the headlines are saying? Trump followers drinking Lysol's and all that. So I guess Utah is telling them not to drink poison. So, but again, that's just me, right? Number three, police arrest everyone on February 22nd. Not the 23rd, not the 21st. That's not the job of the police to arrest people. You know what I'm saying? It's only on the 22nd. And if they did arrest everybody, who was outside in the streets then? These are stupid, funny headlines that I've seen. I'm just saying, right? And <laughs> this one, Mississippi <laughs> Literacy Program shows improvement. Uh, are you watching how they spelled it? All wrong. Ain't it M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, -S 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 -P -P -I, crooked letter I, humpback, humpback. I. No? That's how I used to remember it. You know what I'm saying? But they spelled it completely wrong. So the literacy program needs to have a, lit <laughs> a, a new program. <laughs> yeah, or they need to be on that program. But uh, that headline does not make no sense. But anyway. Number five, a miracle cure. Yes, but it kills five patients. <laughs> the fifth patient, well, it killed five patients. This is the fifth patient that it killed. Five patients it killed. How is it a, a cure if it's killing patients? Okay, see, that's what I'm saying. Funny headlines that don't make no damn sense. How is it killing? Number six, federal agents raid a gun shop, and guess what they found? Weapons. Really? Really, you needed to put a whole headline up there to tell me that they raided a gun shop and found weapons. Now, it would have been a big headline if they raided the gun shop and didn't find no weapons. Then that's a story. What's next? You know, F, uh, FSA or FFA, whatever, raids Chips Ahoy's and find Chip Ahoy cookies. Stupid headlines. Come on, people. But these are funny headlines. These are real headlines that are out there. It's not, you know, me writing it up. These are real headlines. And it's funny. But anyway, number seven. This I didn't know. Like, I'm lucky I have a, a, a newspaper. But they said that the most earthquakes damages... It's caused by the shaking. Wow, Lord. See, things you didn't know. I didn't have no idea that the shaking of the building and falling down and everything from the earthquake was done by shaking. I thought it was just done by poor buildings. You know? I thought somebody fell and the building collapsed. Ready? Idiots. I'm telling you, WTF headlines. Here we go. This one is funny. Number eight, cows lose their jobs because of the milk price drops. 
So let, let me let me picture uh picture something here. Kyle comes into work and gets a pink pink slip. So now if it's a Puerto Rican Kyle or, or or let's say a Kyle from New York goes into work and he got fired because they you know the milk drop. You know that Kyle's gonna be pissed. Oh, you couldn't call me at home? You had to make me come over here and move my way over here. You, I, I would I was home. I was eating hay. I was relaxed. I come to work and you fired me. You should have fired me when I was at home. I would have been, oh, hell no. You should have fired me Friday when I got paid. <laughs> Who the hell fires? Fu- now, did they fire them or did they say they don't need them and, and then they killed them and they made them as a hamburger? I don't know. But these are funny uh, headlines here. We're going to number nine. <laughs> See? <laughs> We lucky we have newspapers and media to tell us the truth. But since y'all people always love to to see what the media says because they always correct without even researching it. That's why I'm putting these funny medias up. But number nine says, breathing oxygen links to staying alive. So that means everybody that's been dying is because they're not breathing oxygen. They forgot to breathe. There it is. The government now, now you have the cure government. Tell them to breathe, to breathe the oxygen. Just don't breathe New York oxygen. <laughs> it's not going to help. <laughs> You're going to be coughing and screaming and, they, you know, it's not going to help you breathing uh, New York oxygen out here in the streets. But uh, headlines, these are real headlines. Breathing oxygen saves lives. Weird, but true. But anyway, number 10, state. And this is going to be for everybody. State population doubles by uh, 2040. You know why? Because of uh, babies. They're blaming the babies. That's the reason why population is growing. I did not know that. I just thought that we stood here and said, "Eh, let's just say two more people. And they write two more people. Duh. That's how populations grow because babies come out. Again. Ladies and gentlemen, these were 10 of the stupid, funniest WTF headlines that I found. I, I probably Next week, I'll probably do a couple more, but these are so weird. My funniest one was the last one. Baby blame for population of the world. Who else are you going to blame besides the parents making them or the side chicks or the mistakes? It, it doesn't really matter. It's just they the ones that made the kids. Of course, population. So, but anyway, I thought that would be a little bit of humor for you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I want to thank all of you guys for being here today. If you are watching, you know, after the show is not live no more, please still comment. I watch some of the comments. I try the, uh, my best to reply. If not, someone else that's on the uh, LDM panel will see it and they will reply as well. So hope that this helped you out to get away from things a little bit so if you see dumb headlines like this let us know you know put it in uh inboxes that we can know and also remember if you do want to make a shout out to somebody happy birthday happy anniversary or something again let us know we'll do the shout outs for you if you want to and uh pop the question to somebody let us know i I, want to be there you know what i'm saying but uh we got blinking lights here, so that means that's my little signal that we got to go, I guess. So uh, it is that time, right? Oh, we got 10 more minutes. I'm looking at the time down there, and it said uh, 6.55. I, you know. Oh, so, yeah, we got five minutes, right? Okay, so five minutes. Again, let me recap of what I was saying today. Borderline uh, with the kids. Teach your kids so they won't be borderline disrespectful. Uh, we were also talking about how, uh, what have you been cooking? And I still want to know what have you been cooking new? No, no venga con arroz con bituelas and you know what I'm saying? I, I made French fries with, with pork chops and I, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something new out of your, your ordinary that you made. I still want to know that, you know, and if it's good, I want to know how you made it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody needs to, to, you know, pass some, rec- you know, recipes around. So, and also, 
drinking? Have you been trying different drinks in the house? Have you been turning into, you know, a Tom Cruise in, in cocktails? Like, you know, you're trying different things, you know? Anything different have you been doing? Let us know because next week we're going to try a little bit different. And next week I'm thinking we're going to have a big LDM Zoom party. Like you could just log on to your Zoom and join the conversation with us and you'll have like, you know, the Brady Bunch or everybody around, you know. I don't know, uh, wife looking at me because she don't know what the Brady Bunch is. But if you know what the Brady Bunch is, you'll be looking up every little square just like them. But maybe next week we'll do a little Zoom party, LDM style, and everybody can get into the conversation uh, here and join in. And instead of, you know, get your little five minutes fame, whatever you want to do. But just to get away from everything. So remember, always smile, joke around, and laugh, okay? Well, that's it for the LDM show. I'm glad you guys had time to uh, spend with us and um, enjoy your time out there. So peace out, keep smiling, and enjoy life. This is Charles Aloma, and you've been watching the LDM show right here on the LDM Network or whatever platform you've been watching on. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see, I, before I go, they were like, oh, no, you can't go. No, he's not ready. But uh, log on Saturday to the LDM radio. Uh, there is going to be a whole day, not a whole day. It's going to start at 3. But from 3 on, there's going to be independent artists performing live just for you to get away. So I, I do want to try something. I want to see you guys. If you're dancing, record yourself dancing to the song. Cause we might we might open up the zoom hey lights went off but i i damn they telling me i gotta go my lights went off log on ldm radio station three to eight hey independent artists ldm radio online concert i gotta go they turning off the lights and they closing the doors in my own house See